Rowlett families whose duplex was accidentally torn down last week are now one step closer to getting at least some kind of resolution. It's a story we first told you about over the weekend. A demolition company hired to tear down a duplex damaged by the December tornadoes demolished the wrong residence. Fox Sports' Alex Boyer is live tonight in Rowlett with what the homeowners are learning tonight. Alex. Heather, well, this property now is literally a clean slate. This is where that duplex used to stand, and the same demolition company that mistakenly tore it down on Tuesday, well, they were back out here today clearing out this property to begin to make things right. Let's show you a video of what was actually left of this duplex located at 7601 and 7603 Calypso Drive after a crew from Billy L. Neighbors Demolition accidentally bulldozed it last week. Their boss says the men were supposed to bulldoze a duplex located just down the block. The house numbers matched up, but the street was incorrect. A daughter of one of the owners drove past the home Tuesday afternoon, saw what was happening, and yelled at the men to stop. But by that time, as you see, it was obviously too late. So today, the owner of the demolition company met with his insurance adjuster, who will now be working directly with the two homeowners. I mean, I spoke to the insurance adjuster. He did call me today, and um, he said that he was going to come out here and take a look at the foundation and um, just uh, check out the condition, see if it's salvageable or not. Um, and then he said, we'll just start moving forward from there. The other homeowner, Alan Cutter, was also out here today looking at the progress. He didn't want to talk on camera, but he did say he got an email from the demolition company today asking him to contact them, but he told me he just hasn't had a chance to do so. Both homeowners tell me today they're optimistic that they will be made financially whole, but what can't be replaced are the sentimental items. Mr. Cutter's father-in-law, who passed away several years ago, was a music composer, and his sheet music was in the duplex when it was bull. The family searched through the debris earlier this week after it was accidentally torn down but was unable to find it. Still, they tell me that they remain optimistic and they say that today this is one step closer, putting them hopefully in the right direction. Heather? Yeah, remaining optimistic, but have they been given any kind of timeline at all for when this is going to be over? Yeah, I asked both of them that today, and of course, that's what they would like to do, right, is nail down a definitive timeline. The problem is now they're obviously dealing with insurance companies, the insurance adjuster. So Lindsay Diaz, who's one of the owners I talked to today, she tells me that the insurance adjuster was not able to give her a specific de deadline. He did say he will be out here tomorrow to look at the foundation, and then they will go from here. But clearly, since this is a clean slate, it's going to be at least several months before they're able to rebuild something here. Diaz tells me that what she would like, obviously, is for them to assess the value of the portion that they tore down and then cut her a check. And then that way she can use that money to either rebuild here or rebuild somewhere else. Heather? Makes sense. All right. We'll keep watching. Alex, thank you.